I'm Ravi Handa, founder of the website handagafanda.com. Welcome to another solved example on equations. Now there is no way to solve these questions when you have the variables in power, but you need to do hit and try. So what are the some techniques that we can use? So I have 5 to the power x minus 3 to the power y and I have a 5 digit number and then when some powers of 5 and some powers of 3 are added, I have a number which is closer to 10,000. So very clearly I know that we are not dealing with 5 square or 5 cube or 3 cube. We are dealing with bigger paths. So let's just write down some of the values, some of the paths so that we can do a sort of hidden trial and get these values. So 5 to the powers of x. So some of the powers of 5 are 5, 25, 125, 625 and then it starts to become a little more interesting because the values start getting bigger. So 625 into 5 is 3125 then I have 15625 and then I will have something in 80,000. Now the values that we are dealing with are around 10,000, 15,000. So most probably it would be a combination of these along with some powers of 3. So what powers of 3 are there? 3, 9, 27, 81, 243. Then the bigger ones, 729 is there. Then we have 2187. Then we have 6561 and then we'll have something like 18,000, 19,000 again too big. So what we need to do is we need to have the difference as 13438 or the sum as 9686. So let's try some sort of a combo which can either generate 9686 by adding two of these values or generate 13438 by subtraction of two values. So by looking at these values, by roughly estimating 3000 odd and 6000 odd, how much do these two add up to? Well, if you do the addition, you will realize that they indeed add up to 9686. That is enough for solving the question. But let's say if you went some other way, then you could have realized that 15,000 something and minus 2000 something. If you do this calculation, if you do this subtraction, you will get the first equation, which is 13438. Once you have these calculations, your job becomes a lot easier. You figured this out or you figured this out. Any of these equations you figured out, you will be able to solve the question. So suppose I take this one now, 5 to the power of x. So this is 5 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 5 to the power of 6 minus 3 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 minus 3 to the power of 7 is 1, 3, 4, 3, 8. I have the value of x as 6. I have the value of y as 7. I am supposed to find out the value of x plus y or 6 plus 7 which comes out as 13 and that will be my answer. There is no other way to do this other than taking these values and doing some sort of hidden trial to get to the answer. But Questions like this should definitely be attempted in the exam because it doesn't take too long for this hit and trial. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.